question? I know you have a line uh, of questioning to, to pursue. Yeah. Back to business. <laughs> So do you, uh, now with all that in mind, are you, uh, do you ever want to write a, a real book? And, no. And, and uh, so do all that suffering for nope. so little reward? No. Nope. No. Did you, How long did we get that out of the way? Did you know? <laughs> yes. You know, my problem is, if, for one thing, I just don't have any depth. I'm, I'm, not an, I'm an intellectually very shallow person. And, uh, now who, well, nothing wrong with that. No, I, I don't oh, apologize no, for no, it anymore. No, you know, but I, like, I hate opera, for example. Oh, I hate ballet. You can understand what they're singing about anyway. And I was an English major, and I hated almost all the great works of literature. <laughs> but... You know, you actually read him. I was an English major. I yeah, no, I mean, well, I just, <laughs> but I mean, I think a lot of them. I don't think the authors read him. I don't. I don't believe anyone read all the way through Moby Dick, including Herman Melville. You know, mm. what I mean, I don't care what anybody. But the thing is, if you gave me the plot of like the Brothers Karamazov, and I really worked hard, I could maybe get that story to last four pages. You know, what I, mean? <laughs> I just don't have the what it takes to be a novelist. You know, they can make a, a, they can make a long book anyway. It's chapter little... out of a guy who walks into a room and no. kisses his wife. I don't, Dave, I don't think you're shallow. <laughs> well, Michael, of course. So it's false. <laughs> yeah. Stop. It is, of course, false modesty. I consider myself a genius, but there's no need for you to point that out. I think people can picture that. Okay. I'm well, really surprised at your behavior, Mr. Stuck. It is pretty the last time on the show, he compared you unfavorably to, to Pat Sajak, aside he, from the fact that he was cutting your cutting down your segue. No, but here's a question. Okay. And I bet you that, I mean, seriously, mm. a, lot of, a lot of people have wondered this, and it's time somebody asked you this. Mm. How come all the toys are on Alan's side of the desk? That's very easy to answer. They're my toys. <laughs> there is and he there doesn't share them? Mine. He won't share? I don't want them. Oh, no! I'll share. <laughs> Here you go, no, boys. So I feel so oh, much better. No, now. far be it to be selfish. A week goes by where this this desk desk shift doesn't happen. So no, really? It, it's like a, a See, good I old try show. to share, but he doesn't. Um, I don't want it. He just doesn't go for Thank it. Thank you for pointing that out, Dave Barry. My pleasure. <laughs> All right. Michael just never seems happy with the way the interview is going. No, I mean, no, he just never not. lives up he's, to his expectations. This is, it's not unusual. It's just it's no, well, I'll, I'll tell you part of the short stick, history. I I've been doing a TV show for about three seasons. The first season was totally a bore. <laughs> so, so I asked Mr. Poe to be my co-host, and the second season went good. You can't get rid of him. And now it's a mistake. <laughs> I can't get, get rid of him. Get out of here. Oh, come <laughs> on. Right. Be careful now. Really, you two guys love each other. I know it. <laughs> oh, gosh. No. Well, speaking about Hardly. loving each other. Uh, no, I'm not interested. No, no. I'm a happily married guy. I'm <laughs> sorry. Let's talk about you. I don't real... know what they told you. But, oh, yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. Yeah, a real job. Uh, just very quickly, have, have you thought about quitting? Bricklayer? Ever since you became a successful author, are you ever thought about... Do you really about... need the Herald is what you're saying. Yeah. Ah, yeah, I wouldn't quit. Okay. Um, for one thing, dental benefits. <laughs> <laughs> so call me loyal. You know, that's how I feel. <laughs> Would you, could you be swayed to another paper like some of your co-workers? Well, I, I, I've been offered... I mean, I've had opportunities to go to other papers, but um, I like the Herald. For one thing, the Herald pretty much leaves me alone. And for another thing, I kind of like not being in the center of the action, which in journalism is Washington, D.C., or to a lesser extent, New York. And um, it forces me to be, I think, you know, to look at different subjects, maybe. Than if I, than I think that if I were in Washington, even if I tried really hard not to, I'd end up writing a lot of Washington humor, you know, if, if that's not too much well, of an oxymoron. Well, come to think of it, and our yeah. book wall already exists. So. Yes, he does. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I see you've done your homework. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And you, and I didn't read those classics, but uh, I do read the newspaper occasionally. Uh, have you ever come close? You won your first Pulitzer from uh, your story on New York. My first Pulitzer? <laughs> I think there was another one? Well, is, have you ever come close to a second one? In, in my c category, which is best male vocal, they don't <laughs> give out more than one, as far as I know. Oh, is that? Oh, you I only see. win okay. one, and then you sort of retire from competition, which is nice. Um, cartoonists win like. 12, 14 yeah. apiece, usually. Oh, which mm. reminds me, I also want to uh, congratulate you on your, well, is, it, is it your choice for Jeff McAnally? McNally. McNally. Is it, was it your choice to have him uh, illustrate your, your uh, comics? Actually, it was Gene Weingarten, the former editor of Tropic, who asked him, but only because I didn't have the gall, because I thought that Jeff would be, I mean, I, he's a friend of mine, I, you know, I think he's the best illustrator mm -hmm. in the country, but uh, I wouldn't have had the, the chutzpah to ask him, and uh, Gene did, and... Mm -hmm. uh, so he lives down Kutzba here? means cojones. So, I guess, okay. yeah. Well, Gene, I know... This is a free case. Oh, you know, unlike, I like to be multilingual and cultural mm, when I can. Unlike you, Gene was wooed away from the Herald. He was wooed. Uh, do you miss him? I miss him a lot. Yeah, yeah I love Gene. <laughs> he, uh, he, he was a real inspiration because he was the most tasteless, <laughs> sophomoric individual I've ever known to have 
a real job or a driver's license. <laughs> okay. and, and so he meant a lot to me and I miss him. Uh, mm. So I, I stay in regular touch with him. So how has the, how is the uh, office changed since he's gone? Well, it's a lot cleaner. Yeah. Gene was probably the dirtiest, in addition to being sophomoric, he had the filthiest personal hygiene habits of anybody I've ever met. There would be like chewed pen tops on the floor and stuff like that. It was a disgusting place to be. Speaking, He would like chew on rubber bands all day. You can hear a rubber band squeaking a person's mouth 50 to 60 yards away. And try, did, try it at home. Try it at home, kid. Try it. Try it. <laughs> At home, kid. Did, uh, <laughs> Try it at home. Kid. You can chew when did you meet him? When did you first yeah. meet Gene? Oh, yeah. oh. When did you first meet Don't Gene? put Gumby in your mouth. You don't know where Gumby's been. Oh. <laughs> I know exactly where he's been. My Gumby. <laughs> <laughs> when Not did you first? I heard. <laughs> okay, shut up. Quiet. Yeah. Quiet. Michael, let's doggedly pursue this. Uh, and when did you? Uh, when did you Back first? business. When did you first meet Gene? He hired you from uh, yeah, Atlanta. Yeah. He, he called me up. I was in Philadelphia, Philadelphia, as, and I was a freelance writer then. I didn't want to work for a newspaper. Doing humor columns? Yeah, yeah, um, and in, in teaching effective writing seminars. And Gene called me up and announced that I had to come, in a typical Gene arrogant way, announced that I had to come work for him. And you didn't know who he was? Because he's the only person in the United States who, you know, would be worth yeah. working for. You know. So when you finally got to know who he was as far as chewing on rubber bands? I said, what a jerk. You know? and, uh, yeah. like it's, and then I got to know him, and I said, what a, really, what a jerk. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's an unbelievable jerk. But he was fun to work for. I can imagine. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, your office is also smaller because Joel Achenbach is... Uh, Joel is gone. Yeah. yeah. I miss him, too. He went to the Washington Post. But I still read his columns. How yes, you that? do, Michael. How does that work? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Here's the mail. They send, they send it through... Yeah. The mail. The mail. I th yeah. I, again, more homework. It's possible for, yeah, really, <laughs> well, okay. column to appear in more than one newspaper. Well, yeah. speaking of which, how many newspapers does your column appear in? I'm glad you asked that, Michael. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Several hundred is what I always tell people, whether it's true or not. So is it like, if it, for every newspaper you're in, you get extra money? Is that how He's it works? He's really into the finance. No. I don't know, but he does ask a lot of bullshit yes, questions. He did this on the last that, show. That's how yeah. it works. So in other words, you have to trust your agent to keep track of those numbers, because you certainly don't. Are you, do, you, wait, do you want to do it? I mean, do you want to be the... Yeah, Dave, I'd be happy to. Uh, you need someone to... Wait, I'm supposed to let some <laughs> bearded, hippie <laughs> folk artist... Deal with these the the hard-nosed newspaper county? Are you saying with Gumby on his desk? I like. I'll what if Gumby, Gumby would Gumby. happen to get in the way of an, imp an important number or something? You know, what I mean? then yeah, you'd be like a good excuse. Oh, I'm sorry, Dave, that the last check was a little short. Gumby got in the way. You know, maybe sure, you're right. I can see it now. Maybe so you've right. come a long way since your last appearance on our show. Haven't I haven't. You? No, on, everything is basically you were on Good the Morning same. America. You had a best-selling novel. Now, really, I, I think that we did very well for you. That's right. And I, I owe it all to the exposure I got. Right here on the Mr. Stock, <laughs> the Mr. Poe show. Hit this <laughs> he hits everything. I Last time you hit our guest, you when are we going to introduce our guest? The guest? Oh, our, our new guest. I feel so a little embarrassed, him? hogging all the attention uh, here. Well, when, it's my brother, as you may know. I'm Alan Poe. Can and we get a can we get a close Topo, up? Topo, if we can get a, uh, his name down there. Yeah, Topo. Topo. No, down below us, down further down. Say hi to the folks. Hi. Well, Wait, we're not going to get Topo. Show them your arm waves. So that joke. Oh, there we go. Hi. Okay. Alan Poe and Topo. Gee, well, Dave, you might criticize me, but he's the brains of the family. I'd much rather talk to you than hear Mr. Poe talk about Topo. <laughs> okay. So now I totally lost my train of thought here, oh, and I have to start over. Right. <laughs> oh, no. Well, let's see. Welcome once again to the Mr. Stock and Mr. Poe show. I know. I, I want to, there's so much I do want to get in, though. Oh, wait, I just uh, want to keep, make sure this I keeps going wait. back and forth. <laughs> no, no, no. That's, people out there in the audience. Play. It gets me dizzy. It gets me dizzy. Ooh, ooh, people, special you know, see, effects. People whizzing through looking for the home shopping network are going to say, what, what, what the here. hell is going on? <laughs> They're going to think, like, this is the show okay, wait, this, network. The Arsenio uh, Hall show pays Gumby's thousands sale. of dollars to get an effect like this. <laughs> we all have to run yeah. like this. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. Mr. No, Poe, anyway. Mr. Poe, we need you. Yeah, for what? Okay. Captain, she enough. can't take much more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Robbie. Robbie serious. has grown up quite a bit since <laughs> the last time we were here. <laughs> Who? Robbie. Robbie. Robbie, Robbie Berry. <laughs> That's his little girl, is Michael, that what that is? Or his little boy? Michael Robbie. is so cute when he tries to be a talk show. <laughs> no, 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 I guess. <laughs>